Hey there, welcome to another Cycle Storm video here at the Epic Storm. I am Brent Cook and Cycle Storm is my favorite popper deck. I've made a lot of changes over the last six months to this deck, starting with Ash Barons over the Invasion Sackland Mana Base. We had a suggestion of Blood Celebrant. We had Repository Scab added to the deck, which just makes the deck super consistent since you now have the ability to return Songs of the Damned and Reaping the Graves. A lot of you frequently ask, why is this better than something like Archaeomancer? Well, Repository Scab puts itself to the graveyard, so you can keep on returning these cards over and over, and that's why that effect is so good. On top of that, we picked up Dihada's Ploy, which allows us to gain life. Before Ploy, before Modern Horizons 2, Ploy, well, I shouldn't say Ploy, Street Wraith was the best cycler in the deck, but you would run out of a point where it was still useful because you would just get too low on life and it was a concern. Well, with Dihada's Ploy, you can go as low as you want, knowing that at some point you're going to gain a bunch of life when you draw your entire deck, because this deck draws its entire deck almost every single game that it wins. So you will gain a bunch of life, and then at that point you can cycle Street Wraith again or use your Blood Celebrant. Those were the major changes that we made to this deck list. Recently in the sideboard, we are testing out Spore Frog over something like Darkness because Spore Frog, like Repository Scab, counts towards reaping the, <laughs> reaping the Graves, there we go, I can talk, and Songs of the Damned. So Spore Frog is interesting over something like Darkness. We were already playing green for Gnaw to the Bone over Weather the Storm, and Gnaw is really for those red decks that are looking to just burn you out. Not really the Spore Frog matchups, these are for opposite matchups. But Gnaw is so important instead of Weather the Storm because it doesn't allow you to change your play patterns. You don't have to burn a Dark Ritual or a Cabal Ritual to gain a few extra life. Instead, you can just play to your deck's normal play pattern of just keep cycling, just keep cycling, and then cast Gnaw at some decent point in the game to gain a bunch of life. So that's why Gnaw to the Bone is better than Weather the Storm. Another recent change was Hydroblast over Dispel, and that's because Hydroblast is just so effective against Affinity, we really lose that matchup to Atog, so let's just play the card that answers Atog cleanly, either on the stack or on the board, Hydroblast is just beautiful. Pyroblast is primarily for those, those fairies decks, uh, just being able to counter spells that are sprite is so important, and that's the big idea here. Flaring Pain is for Prismatic Strands, and if you're unfamiliar with that, it says prevent all sources from a color of your choice until end of turn, and it also has flashback. So Flaring Pain just cuts right through, allows you to sting your opponent until they're lethally dead. I think that's all I have to say about Cycle Storm. If you have any questions, as always, leave a comment down below. I do my best to answer all of them, I promise. And if you're unaware, we are currently doing a giveaway. Any member of this channel this month is eligible to win this Pioneer, uh, what is it called? Lotus Field Challenger deck? Challenger deck. Yeah, I remember words, but we're giving it away to one lucky member of this channel, so click that join button down below and enter to win. You also get access to the member section of the Discord this month and all videos early. Normally that's a top tier combo cabal feature. This month, even the $4.99 tier gets all of our videos early. A small thank you to all of you who subscribed and became a member and everything else this year. I really do appreciate you. And on top of that, we are doing 15% off our shop this month with code Stormy Holidays. Once again, that is code Stormy Holidays. Go check out theepicstorm.com slash shop and save 15% on all that sweet storm swag. All right, well, that's what I've got for you. And here's a way that, well, I should say, here's some ways that you can support us. Check this out. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. That said, there's no better way of showing your support than becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks, and we get to keep making combo content. The perks get better and better each level you go up. They also stack. To start off, with our Storm Fan tier, you unlock our private member section of our Discord, which comes with a highlighted user profile and then some awesome badges and emotes for YouTube. Looking for cyborg help? Become a Stormtrooper, our middle tier, for two cyborg guides of your deck choice every single month, on top of 50% off donation decks. Did we mention you also get 10% off merchandise from our shop? 
with our top tier, the Combo Cabal, you get a free donation deck every single month. 15% off merchandise from our shop, early access to private deck lists, and the most valuable perk, in my opinion, videos early. That's right. You heard it. Early access to all videos. But maybe Sweet Perk, Secret Deck List, Early Access to Videos isn't for you. But you'd still like to show your appreciation. Make sure to check out theepicstorm.com slash shop for card singles and storm swag. Please don't forget to use your membership discounts. Finally, if you want to see your combo deck here on this very YouTube channel, make sure to visit theepicstorm.com slash donation decks where all you have to do is attach your TXT file and pick a donation tier. With our Epic tier, you can even join me in a video to showcase your bold brew in person and explain the ins and outs of your strategy. Card availability won't be an issue due to our new sponsor, Card Hoarder. With Card Hoarder, renting is super easy. If you're looking to get into Magic Online, there isn't a better, more affordable solution than Card Hoarder. Fun fact. You can rent the Epic Storm for seven tickets a week, which is just a great deal. There are many ways you can support us. Just pick whatever is best for you. In the meantime, let's play some magic. Hey there, welcome to round number one of the Pauper Challenge. I'm on the play against Hamuda, who I faced last week on Affinity, so I'm going to put them on the same deck. And here we have a pretty good hand. We just need a copy of Reaping the Graves. I'm going to try this. I'm going to, on the first turn, play the Swamp and cycle the Architects of Will. I'm going to keep the Bearmore back in case we run out of Cyclers. So let's just main phase cycle this Architect and then pass the turn. Dark Ritual, okay. That's not a bad draw in a super fast matchup, but we do need to find that Reaping and there's Disciple. Okay, so what is our draw step here? Reaping the Graves, that was a great one. Okay, so let's cycle the Street Wraith, try to find a few more cycling creatures. All right, another Architect, so let's cycle that. And a Street Wraith, okay, let's go to 16, cycle. I'm going to play the Baron more. I think that mana could end up being a choke point, and we want, you know, to not fizzle. So I think the land and play is a little bit more valuable than... Uh, being able to cycle and they're having their best start against us. So we're probably going to try to win the game right here Dark ritual dark ritual. Whoops misclicked. All right now we can cycle the healer And they'll bring us the seven cards in graveyard, which is enough for a cabal ritual threshold cycle All right, let's cast these cabal rats Okay, cabal rat cabal rat cycle healer Scab okay cycle it's not great yet. We need a Songs of the Damned. All right, Cycle Vantasaur. Cycle Healer. Blood Celebrant. Uh, so that is a Storm at the cost of a mana. And the Scab actually isn't great here because we don't have a whole lot going on. So the question is, do I want to play the Celebrant and lose out on a mana? I think the, actuals, the answer is actually no. Yeah, let's return the healer. I could end up fizzling here because we're only returning five, but we want to start on Street Wraith. Okay, and then we just return something else. So these gives us, uh, by returning Street Wraith first, we get the highest chance of uh, hitting our songs, and there we did it. So now we can keep going. Cycle. All right, and cycle. Draw off this. And now with this one still on the stack, we're going to cast Songs. And make 10 mana. Cycle this. And this is turn 3, so I can still get a blue off our Ash Barons, if that's what we want to do. But we want to keep on trying to hit here. Dark Ritual is a good draw. Because right now we're stuck between choosing between returning Songs or returning Reaping the Graves. And I'm not sure which is actually better. So you might be thinking like, well, you can return both. It's not realistically a good plan here because I have to play the Celebrant, make a blue, return the Reaping the Graves, and then Reaping the Graves again, returning the Scab. But that, at that point, we don't have any creatures in our graveyard. So it's not actually that good. Let's cycle here. And now we know that we should get back 
uh, Reaping the Graves and not Songs of the Damned. Uh, let's play the Celebrant. Cast Songs, 20 mana. Let's go pull that island out of the deck. Okay. Play the island. Tap it. Play the scab. Exploit. Sack the scab. Get back Reaping the Graves. And our opponent has conceded turn three win! Hell yeah! Cycle Storm, too strong. All right, so I've just been boarding in two copies of Hydroblast here to answer Atog. I think that's all we really need to do. I am a little unsure if we should keep two copies of Architects and board out of Teachings or do two Architects, because we do have to keep our threat density high. And if we're trying to be fast, double Teachings can be kind of bad for us. I flip-flop a lot on how I sideboard. I mean... I do normally board out some number of architects, but I don't have definitive game plans. I like to try different things out. So here, I think in a speed-based matchup, I want the extra cycler. So let's try this. It's not that teachings is bad. It's just I don't know if I'm going to have time for teachings in a matchup like this. Like, they have to keep a pretty slow hand for teachings to be good. And this seems fine to me. We'll keep this. Okay. All right, so they didn't open on Disciple this game. And we're just going to go get a Swamp. Pull lands out of the deck so that way we fizzle less. That sounds good to me. On turn two, we can cycle up to three creatures. And once again, we are looking for the uh, Reaping the Graves. And there's Atog. Okay. Just going to pass the turn here. I'm pretty sure our opponent knows about the Hydroblast in our deck, so making them respect it off our island is pretty important. Okay. Tapping one mana? Maybe not. They're just going to go to combat. I am good with only taking one off this Atog. Oh, you're in combat. I don't know what you're trying to do here. So let's take one and go to 19. Okay, so now we're going to blockers, damage, and second main phase. Sure. Okay, so let's cycle the Horror of the Broken Lands here. And Architects, we can just cycle. So we have plenty of cyclers, we just need to find a Reaping the Graves, it appears. Draw. There's another Songs. Um... In theory, I could try to go this turn, but our opponent doesn't have a board presence that threatens to kill us, so I don't love that. I think I might just try to pass here, and there's Reaping the Graves. So I can probably go for it next turn. And another Reaping. Okay, um, I think I'm just going to move to discard and get rid of this Vantasaur. Like, you could have tried to be super aggressive and cycle into that. I just don't think it's the best move. And here they have Duress, but we actually drew double copy of Reaping the Graves. So they should take one of them, probably. Because we have so much mana that the mana is definitely not the right card to take here. Kind of got lucky drawing two copies of Reapings there. What will you take with Duress? Reaping the Graves it was, and another Frogmite. Okay. So we'll take three here going to 16, and then it's party time. All right, a basic Swamp, that's fine. Cycle the Street Wraith. Ideally, off the Street Wraith, we would draw a chain of creatures, because we want these songs to be more effective. So we can play Cabal Ritual, and then if we draw a chain of creatures, every creature we draw is essentially plus two mana with Songs of the Damned. Even if we're not returning them all immediately with Reaping the Graves, it is beneficial. And it's plus two mana because we have three copies of Songs of the Damned. And we drew Blood Celebrant, which is not a cycling creature. Okay, so... I think we're supposed to just cast everything because... We want to return as many creatures as possible. I guess I could, like, hold back one copy of songs if I wanted to. But I'd rather just return all the creatures. Because right now we'd return everything. So now let's return the horror. 
So we're getting back the whole graveyard. We only have one songs left in our deck, it's worth noting. Okay, so everyone's coming home here. And I have so much mana that I'm just going to return everything. So you could cycle with each copy on the stack because it leaves the most creatures in the graveyard for an additional songs of the dam that we were to draw. I often refer to that as the cycle trick. A lot of you ask in the comments, what is the cycle trick? It's just resolving each copy individually to improve your chances of um, songs of the dam being successful. And I'm not going to cycle the Ash Barons here because removing the last swamp from the deck isn't that important where I'd rather not fizzle uh, because I ran out of mana. Okay, another stinger. Keep cycling. Hey, that was a good one. Okay, keep cycling. Cycle Street Wraith. Play Petal. Play Petal. Let's cycle the Baron more just in case. All right, another Ash Barons. So we'll return everything here. Okay. Street Wraith, Stinger, Imposing Vantasaur, Vantasaur, Architects, Whore. So we're at a little bit of an awkward spot here because we have one Reaping the Graves left in the deck and we have one Songs of the Damned left. All right, Dark Ritual is a good one. Cycle. All right, so this puts us to eight. Cycle the healer. Petal, okay. Cycle the Vantasaur. Kabarit was good. Okay. Do need to hit um, the last Reaping the Graves. Hydroblast is okay, because it does answer the Atog, but I'd rather not be in a past the turn situation. Cycle. And that's the last copy of Reaping. So now we're looking for a Songs, but we're only getting back one creature here, so we don't actually have that many draws. Okay, so we would ideally hit Songs off this, pretty unlikely, or the Scab would actually be even better. All right, let's cycle the Baron more. Do I want to go to six? Let's do it. Okay, Dark Ritual, Dark Ritual, Petal. We're just going balls to the wall here. Cycle. Okay. 23 cards left in deck. Cast Reaping. Get back the Vantasaur. And now we can only return two Street Wraiths first. So we want to target those because we'll end up killing ourselves if we go any lower. Okay, and Stinger, Healer. Vantasaur, Vantasaur, Architects, Horror, Horror, and then the last Street Wreath will be the last thing we actually return. Okay, Cycle. That was good. All right, six mana. Now we get a two life, Cycle. Cycle the Stinger. And there it is. So that's the last copy of Songs. We can get a little bit more mana out of this, though. Ooh, that was good. Okay, cycle. That needs to get back Reaping the Graves. You don't really have a choice because you don't have any Reaping the Graves left in our deck. All right, cycle this. Just trying to maximize mana here. Dark Ritual, beautiful. Okay, cycle the Vantasaur. And I think the only thing holding me back from winning at this point is me. Okay, 15 cards left in deck. Cycle the Architect. Cycle healer. That's fine. Let's cycle it off blue. Alright, let's cycle the stinger. And we'll cast the songs here. 15 mana. And we can just return everything else now. Okay. Not going to waste any more mana cycling here. I just don't think we can afford it. So instead, I'm going to cast Scab. Exploit. Sacrifice it. And bring back Reaping the Graves. Okay, and get back what we can. I wonder if... No, that's probably not right. 
I was wondering if I should not return everything so that way I can scab back a songs, but I just don't think that's correct. Okay, so everything's coming back now. Turn four. I need to figure out how many rituals we actually have left because I'm not sure if we have any. Okay, so we're at two life. All four songs are gone, so let's count dark rituals. One dark ritual, two. All dark rituals are gone. Cabal ritual, one, two, three. So it looks like we have one cabal ritual left. I just want to double check that. One cabal ritual, two cabal ritual, three cabal rituals. So we have one cabal rit left. Uh, I think I'm supposed to cast the uh, ploy here to gain a bunch of life because that will allow me to cycle four street rates for free. Yeah, I think that's the play here. So now we cast the ploy. Discard. I don't know. Probably an Ash Barons. I'm at 35. Is that a red? Play Stinger. Take another one. Stinger. So... I can't cycle, um, or I can't cast another Stinger, or else I lose the ability to cast Cabal Ritual. So we have three Street Rates in hand. I think we should cycle them looking for the Cabal Rit. Okay. So that's the first cycle, and there's the Cabal Ritual. Okay. So now I can play another Stinger. Which makes each cycle worth three damage. Cycle. All right. Eight cards left. Cycle the street wreath. We have one street wreath left in the deck because I've only found three so far. Um, and it looks like we were actually deterministic at this point. I have enough mana floating and I can cycle three times. Okay, so it looks like we are going to defeat Affinity in the first round and a Lotus Petal. I wasn't even thinking about those. Okay, cycle the Street Wraith, play Petal, and cycle another copy of Horror of the Broken Lands, and that's going to do it. That was match number one, Cycle Storm over Affinity. I hope you enjoyed it. Stick around. Enjoy the rest of this video. Match number two will be coming up in just a second. Round number two, we're on the draw, and I've opened up a hand with Land Cyclers, Reaping the Graves, and Acceleration with Cabal Ritual. We are not going to ship this, and it looks like our opponent is on the Mono White Heroic deck, so this is a pretty quick matchup. We're just going to play the Swamp and Pass here. So I think what we're looking to draw is more Acceleration, so Songs of the Damned, Dark Ritual, those sort of things. Okay, and it looks like they don't have a second land, which could be pretty good for us. Okay, so we'll follow the 18 life. And they're just going to pass the turn. Let's cycle the dino. Okay. I don't think I'm going to cycle this Ash Barons. I think we want to just be more efficient and just velocity is the key right now. It's not necessarily... Okay, well, that wasn't great. Maybe, I don't know. Let's see what our opponent does here. If they miss another land drop, I would consider cycling these. All right, so it's a 4-4 four, four now. So we're going to fold up 14. Okay, let's pull the lands out of the deck. We have some time. They opened up on a hand that wasn't very quick. So we can afford to take one turn off here. Okay, draw. Baron more. Let's cycle the healer and pass. All right, Ploy might be able to buy us a little bit of time here. So we're going to follow the 10, and they hit land 2. That's not good. Okay, 6-6. Six, six. So they're currently 8 points short. And what's coming here? The Trailblazer. They have 3 cards in hand. Blood Celebrant. So we have a blocker. Hmm. I think I'm going to play it and then pass the turn. They would need a trampler to kill me right now or something that gives it trample or protection from black. Okay. 
So I have to block the uh, Deathblade Elite. And then I'll take zero. Okay, so we got a free time lock there for one black mana. What do you have? Four cards left in hand. Opponent isn't doing anything, so I think here we cycle the Street Wraith, go to six life, and then probably cast the ploy. Hmm. Actually, I think I'm going to cycle. Because this is Storm, and even though the life is nice, I don't think it's actually necessary, and Songs is a terrific draw. Okay, Cycle Street Wraith. We're at four life now. Play the pedal. The Ball Ritual. I guess what we would need to be worried about is Mana Tithe out of our opponent. So we should play smart and just not lose the Mana Tithe. Cycle Healer. Cycle Architects. Cycle Architects. I guess I should cast Cabal Ritual first. Like I said, we're playing around Mana Tithe. Let's just not lose to the obvious card. Okay, Cycle. Storm is three. Cycle the Stinger. And another Songs. Let's cast it. And Ploy. Just increasing that Storm count. It also gains life so that we can bring back the Street Wraiths and Blood Celebrant. I'm going to discard the Vantasaur. I'd rather have Dark Ritual here. Songs of the Damned. And Reaping the Graves. So let's get back this Blood Celebrant. And let's bring back the Stingers. Stinger. Stinger. Wraith, Wraith, Healer, Healer, what else do we want to bring back? Horror, maybe? I'm not going to do any sort of uh, stack tricks. I know that I mentioned it in the beginning of this video. I don't know if I've, I've probably done it throughout the course of this video already. I just didn't describe it. But here I'm looking to just play my stingers and start cycling. And if I fizzle, I guess you can't see that hand, fizzle. I have Ploy to bail me out a little bit, so I don't need to worry about that as much. All right, play the Stinger. And another Stinger. Add a red. Cast it. And now we start cycling. Auto yield to this ability. I have to get 10 cycles in. We have five cyclers to do it, so we need to draw five cyclers off five cards. And another Street Wraith is a good one. Another Songs of the Damned. How lucky. Okay. So that would bring us down to one. I'm not trying to cast that just yet. Okay. Cycle this healer. Auto yield. All right. I'm going to sacrifice this for a blue and jumpstart the Dehada's ploy, discarding the teachings. Gain a bunch of life. Discard. Paddle. Okay, and now I can cycle the Street Wraith. I could have before, but like, why risk going too low? I just don't see the point. Alright. Only have to fit in a few more cycles here. Cycle the healer. Alright, opponent's at four. And now we cycle the Stinger. Opponent's at two. All right, so we did this off, I believe, just one copy of Reaping the Graves. And their opponent revealed their hand. They could have given their creature pro black last turn. And then they would have put me to one life. Eh. Okay. So I think we want the frogs. We want the forest. So I have been boarding out a Lotus Petal when I'm bringing in extra lands, but recently I've been trying to board out a Baron Moor and keeping all of my acceleration because it's also mana fixing, which I think is pretty important. So I'm boarding out a Baron Moor and I'm keeping the extra basic. And then here, I think we just want to board out the three Architects. I think with Teachings, we're buying enough time with Spore Frog where we just want to stay consistent. And these decks usually don't have direct damage in them. 
let's see how this goes. I think I'm good with this boarding configuration. I don't really like Gnaw to the Bone here. Um, I don't believe that deck plays... I guess I should check. I'm not, like, upset with this boarding strategy. I don't think it plays Prismatic Strands. Uh, that's the White Weenie deck that's a little bit different from Mono White Heroic. Mono White Heroic. Yeah, there's no strands in this deck. I didn't think there was, but some lists have four gut shot on the board. So that's a little bit risky with Frog. Let's mulligan. Yikes, no lands again. Mulligan to five. I think we have to keep this. Bottom Frog and a Cabal Ritual. I think we're going to be going to game three here. Okay. They kept seven too. So there's a good chance I'm just going to get ran over. Play the Baron more. Pass the turn. So one of the important things is if you're in a game like this where you think that you're going to lose, don't show your opponent all of your cards. So I could have kept the Spore Frog in hand and hoped to fog one turn, but then our opponent knows that we have Spore Frog in a game where we're not likely going to win anyway. So what's the point? I'd rather keep that a secret for game three. All right, we're at 18. Let's cycle the Horror of the Broken Lands. Looking for another land here. Uh, let's go to 16, Cyclist Street Wraith. No land, but Songs isn't the worst draw. It's not what we needed right now, but I'll take it. Okay, Hyena Umbra. It's a four. Do they have second land? No. Okay, so they've opened up on one land again. Draw, not another land cycle. Three creatures in graveyard. Blood Celebrant, not what we need here. So our time's running out. And now they have two lands. Lifelink, okay, so five. It's not looking good for us. And another Lifelink enchantment. Okay, so they're gonna gain six. Hmm. All right, so we're gonna fall to six. They have mutagenic growth. That's nine, that would put me to three. They have double growth. Okay, so I'm just dead. Okay. It happens. Draw. And there would have been land number two. I don't think we were going to get that game anyway. Yeah, we weren't going to win that. So let's just go to game three. I don't think we change anything. I think we kind of just had a few bad mulligans. Let's just try to do our thing. All right, on the play for the third game. A lot of lands here. A lot of lands. So the Barrymores are cyclers, but they don't help towards Songs of the Damned. I have the Forest for Spore Frog. I think I'm going to keep this. I don't love it, but I think it's probably fine. Okay, Swamp. Just get rid of this Barrymore. Pass. No need to cycle the Street Wreath immediately. So we have Frog. Um, I guess we'll find out how good it actually is. And there's the Trailblazer. Draw. Play the Forest. I think I just want to cycle here. I don't want to play the Frog yet. I kind of just want to keep on with my game plan. So we have one creature in the graveyard right now. We do have this Street Wraith and Spore Frog. We need to find a Reaping the Graves, but also just more Cyclers in general. Okay, fast start for the opponent here. Plus, they have four cards in hand. Yikes. Okay, so we're at 15, draw. Let's go to 13 and cycle the Street Wraith. Cycle Horror. Okay, play the Frog. Pass the turn. We really need to find a Reaping the Graves. One has three cards in hand. I don't know if I'll use Frog unless they represent lethal. Take it. Okay. Sure, three cards still in hand. Draw. And there's Reaping the Graves. Um... I don't really want to go for it yet. I think I'm just going to cycle. 
type tapping this in case I draw into another uh, spore frog. Pass the turn. Hope they don't have a gut shot. One mana. Sure, that card doesn't matter. Okay. So this is going to untap and rebound. Their creature will um, get slightly larger once again. On our turn, Spore Frog can come back, so we get to double fog them. But we don't actually have that many creatures. This will be creature number five. Okay, let's frog time. Okay, draw. That was decent. Dark Ritual. Once again, a little bit worried about the possibility of Mana Tithe. Let's cycle this. Cycle. Cycle. All these cycles make up for themselves when you have a Song to the Damned in your hand. Okay, another Reaping the Graves. I love that. Okay, pedal. Let's cast the reaping. And let's get back. Um, do I want to get back frog? Probably. Let's do it. Street Wraith and then some other creatures. Click, click, click. Go to six life. Swamp. I don't believe we've played a land for turn, so that's probably fine. Boy's a good one. Cycle. Okay, cycle. Other songs is pretty good. Cycle. 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 Just keep cycling. Cycle. Okay, loving that. And now we return frog. I'm going to cycle this to pull the island out of the deck. Reduce this fizzle rate, but also we need a blue anyway, so it sort of just works out here. Now we exploit the scob. Get back a Songs of the Damned. And I'm going to cast this ploy. Discard the frog. Because it makes some mana with the songs, and I don't think we're actually going to end up needing it, but I could be wrong. Cycle. Cast songs. And now we're reaping. This should be able to get most of everything back here. We're at 19. Let's return Street Wraith. Uh, apparently that's the only one in there. Okay, I'm going to leave the Spore Frog. I just don't feel like that's what this game's about at the moment. Okay, so we go to 17 and another frog cycle. Just keep cycling. And frog cycle teachings. So that can go get another songs at some point. Cycle. Go to 15. Pedal's good. Cycle this. Cabal Ritual, beautiful draw. Okay, up to 11 mana, 19 cards left in deck. Cycle the Baron more, why not? Dark Ritual, 17 cards left. Cycle the Horror, another Ash Barons. Cycle the Healer, draw. Go to 13. And there's our bloody friend. Cycle Horror, the Broken Lands. And there's the songs, boom. Return this Vantasaur and then cycle it down to 12 cards, Lotus Petal, and then our Scabby Friend. Blood Celebrant. Probably should have cast this songs before I returned the Scob, but it's fine. Um, let's go to 12. Play the Scob again. Exploit. Return songs. Roughly infinite mana. And then reaping everything back. Ooh. Healer. Healer. We'll return frog. Why not? All of our friends can come home. Street Wraith. Horror. Stinger. 
horror healers, street wraith, horror, vantasaur. Okay, that's everyone. Got on the magic school bus, and then we can start stinging. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just like trying to fill the air so that way uh, you get to see everything here. Please forgive my silliness. Okay. So everything's home now, and we just have to cast a bunch of stingers. And by a bunch, I mean, do we only have the one? There's only 12 cards left in our deck, and I think I only see one stinger here. Uh, let's cycle. Okay. So there's still three in there somewhere. Cycle this horror. Cabal ritual. Looks like we drew one. Okay. Go to 10. Cast another. Cycle this dino. Set up the auto yield draw. Okay. Looks like we're about to be 2-0 over Mono White Heroic. This deck won last week's challenge, I believe. So, two strong decks in the first two rounds here, and Cycle Storm just doing its thing. It looks like we drew another Stinger. Okay. Six cards left in deck. Did we draw both Stingers? We did! We can get all four in play. And you know what that means. I get to make some bad reference about a Danny DeVito meme, and then I started blasting. Classic. All right. So only a few more cycles here. All right. So it looks like we're about to be 2 0. Love it. This is only a six round event. So that means that we're a third of the way through. Hopefully, you've at least a third of the way enjoyed it. I don't know what I'm saying, but I'll see you in match number three. If you haven't joined them already, I would recommend opening up our description down below and joining our seven social media networks. They're each great in their own way, but I would strongly suggest joining our Discord server. In there, you will find others just like you looking to improve their Storm game and grow as a combo community. If you're a member of our YouTube channel, you should sync your account to Discord to unlock our private member section that has the latest and greatest deck lists, concepts, and much, much more. Let's get back to comboing out. Match number three against Wizard2002. According to MTG Goldfish, their last few decks have been Bogles and then Mono White Aggro. So here we have a hand that doesn't have a black source, but we literally have everything else we could possibly need. I'm going to try this out and just hope to hit a black source. Or draw another land so I can cycle this Ash Barons. Our opponent's taking a mulligan here. So we have Reaping the Graves, we have Songs of the Damned, we have Cabal Ritual, like this is really strong. We have three cyclers, like this could end up being bad, but I think it's just a snap keep. Our opponent's gone to five now. We have two cyclers, like I would prefer if the Horror of the Broken Lands was another creature that cycled for one colorless, but it's tough to turn this hand away, especially when we have things like Lotus Petal as well. Okay, our opponents kept their five, and let's begin the match. Mountain. Rift Bolt. So they're on burn, okay. Another creature that doesn't cycle for colorless. That's a little bit risky. Cycle. Okay. Need to draw that black mana source. I haven't faced burn in a while. And another suspend Rift Bolt. Draw. Okay, cycle the healer. Oof. All right, discard the architects. I probably should have discarded a horror. That was a small mistake, because if I drew island, uh, I could cycle the architects where I couldn't discard the horror. So that was a small mistake on my part. Draw. Okay, cycle. Petal. Okay. Um... I'm going to play out the pedal and just pass here. We're not dead, so I don't really want to just go for it. I thought about discarding because it gets us a little bit closer to threshold for Cabal Ritual. But I don't think that's correct either. Alright, cycle. Another songs. So the worst possible thing that could happen next turn is our opponent draws a mountain and then has Bolt Bolt Fire Blast, which would put me to one. So I'm not dead. Instead, I'm just going to move to discard and discard a Horror of the Broken Lands. And then next turn, we can go for it. Okay, another one mana burn spell. So we go to eight life. 
And no second mountain. All right. Let's start off with the Dark Ritual. Cycle the Horror of the Broken Lands. Another Dark Ritual. Love it. Tap this for a black. Oh, I didn't mean to cast that songs. That was a mistake. I wanted to cast Cabal Ritual there. Oh, what a dummy. I just lost that on a mana. Okay. Return Stinger. Jeez. Can't take me anywhere. All right. Let's return some creatures. Can't believe I did that. Okay. Cycle. Kabara is certainly welcome. And having Scab in hand or Scab in hand, whatever you'd like to call it, is pretty good because the bottleneck here is most likely going to be mana. And all we have to do is draw our blue source or a blood celebrant, something along those lines. Just keep cycling. And here we go. Easy peasy. So what I'm doing at the moment would be, be considered the cycling trick because I am just keep on cycling with each copy on the stack. So that way when you do draw songs, you can make the most possible mana with it if you're low on mana. All right, cycle this. And now we can cycle this Ash Barons to go get our island. So now we can play the Scob. I have another songs in there. So I'm actually going to return this, uh, the songs first because it would actually end up making an extra mana. Let's return the songs. Songs, songs, and then Reaping the Graves, getting back the Scob. Woot woot. Everyone comes home. I'm not going to return the Street Wraith just because I don't want to accidentally kill myself. And our opponent's going to save themselves some time. And we've gotten game number one over burn. How about that? All right. Nod to the Bone comes in. And so does the Forest. So we have three cards coming in. I think we could probably board out the Baron War again. And then let's do one Teachings, one Architects. I think that that's probably the plan here. And Nod is just very, very effective. Game two. Similar to hand number one, but without the rituals. I am less sold on this one. Our opponent did take another mulligan. Just a little bit concerned that we're not going to be fast enough. Hmm. Screw it. Let's do it. I'm going to keep. Uh, a little bit risky, but live dangerously or something like that, right? Okay, so our opponent kept six this time. That doesn't cast Fire Blast, so I enjoy that. And here it looks like we're getting our Black Source, so woot woot. All right, so Black Mana Source, pass the turn. So they had a slow start, which is fine because we had to take a turn off anyway. Ooh, they kept a one tap land hand. That's dangerous. Okay, the Baron Moore. But I'm not sure if we're going to play that or not. We'll make an educated decision next turn on that. Alright, so another one mana burn spell. We're at 14. Our opponent's deck kind of failed them this round. I'm not going to pretend that this is a normal game here. Alright, cycle horror. Play the Baron more and pass. Sort of unfortunate for our opponent. These draws just aren't very good for them. That said, we're not actually doing a whole lot here. I'm going to cycle the Street Wraith, see what I can find. Cycle the Vantasaur. Gnaw to the bone. Jeez. Um, do I want to burn the Dark Ritual? I think I do. All right, cycle the Architects. Cycle Baron Moor. I have not played a land yet, so I can cycle this, go get our forest, play the forest, and I'm actually going to burn the dark ritual, because it allows me to cycle the barren more, and I get to keep lotus petal for color fixing, and then gnaw to the bone, 24, pass the turn, that's a time walker too, and we get to flash it back as well. And our upkeep will probably go get the island with the Sash Barons. 
All right, so now we go to 22. Our opponent has five cards in hand. <coughs> Excuse me. Skewer and Chain Lightning. Another Skewer, okay. Oh, I clicked okay. All right, I didn't draw a lane anyway. I meant to do cycle this in my upkeep and just didn't. No excuses. Cycle. All right. Um, we just passed the turn. I might try to flashback the gnaw. I could also take a draw step. See what I draw into. Really depends on what our opponent does here. Okay, we're at 14. This would gain 16 life, so I go up to 30. Part of me wonders if I should just sit on it. Needle drop, sure, we're at 13 life. And suspend Rift Bolt. I think I'm just going to do it now for mana efficiency. All right, 29, draw. All right, cycle. Like Cycle. All right, I think we're going for it here. Cabal Ritual, Cabal Ritual, Paddle, Paddle. And then let's Reaping the Graves. Get back Stinger. Question is, do I want to return Street Reads? I think the answer is actually yes. We're, I mean, we're at a relatively high life total, but the risk is that if I fizzle, I brought myself closer to the opponent killing me. All right, and then I can cycle these. Cycle. Ploy is a good one. Okay. Keep moving. I'm going to return another one. I don't want to burn the Dark Ritual quite yet. Well, that's a decent draw, but we have to find another Reaping the Graves. Cycle. All right, I'm going to burn the Ritual now. Cycle this. Boom! Love it. Okay. So now let's cast the ploy, gain even more life. Discard this Vantasaur. Dark Ritual. Songs of the Damned. Reaping the Graves. All right. So this is going to be for 11. So we're going to end up leaving three creatures in the graveyard. I think at this point we just try to win the game. And our opponent conceded. We are halfway through this tournament now. We're 3-0. Three rounds left to go in the Swiss. Let's just keep on trying to play tight and uh, do our thing. Nod of the Bone looked really good here against Burn. I think it's here to stay. I think it's just better than weather. Let me know what you think, but round number four coming up. Round four, and we are facing Thalia, and... I don't think we can keep this. Like, five lands is so many. We could thin our deck with two of the Ash Barons so we'd never draw the other basics. But, I don't know. I sort of put my opponent on being an aggro deck. Maybe even Affinity. I think this hand is just too slow. We, we have to ship it. And this is just so much better. I'm going to keep this in bottom of Lotus Petal. And let's go. What are you playing? Planes. Alright, so it looks like they're on the White Weenie deck. Or Boros Monarch, one of the two. I'm just going to play my Swamp here and pass. If they're the Boros deck, they probably have mean deck Prismatic Strands, and they are Boros. So Prismatic Strands is a card that is annoying, but we can beat. Alright, so we're going to fall the 19 here. Into Seeker, you got it. Cycle the Ash Barons, go get an Island. Okay. Draw. Lotus Petal. Okay. So now we play the island and just pass the turn. On their end step, we'll cycle these two creatures. All right. Taking three here, we'll fall the 16 life. Three mana into another Seeker. Okay. Still at 16, and let's cycle the healer and draw into Architects of Will. Let's cycle that as well. Okay, so now we have two creatures in the graveyard. I think I'm going to not cycle this. I think I just want Velocity at this point. So in theory, our opponent could kill us here. 
uh, like double lightning bolt would put me to 10 and then that would be eight and nine that would put me to one okay they sacrificed the clue all right might be go time soon i do like my boros matchup but it really depends on or at least this game depends on what my draws are this turn I need to find Songs of the Damned or Cabal Ritual just to get started. All right, we're going to fall to 11 life. Gross Garrison, okay. And they're choosing to leave this red up, which tells me that they have a Lightning Bolt in hand, so we don't really want to play into that if we don't have to. Okay, another Lotus Petal, cycle the Vantasaur. Let's cycle... Um... I guess I can cycle three wreath on my turn. Let's pull a swamp out of the deck. And draw. Okay. Another Vantasaur. So if they have Bolt, I would go to eight. And then that these would be three, seven. So I would go to one. I don't know. I think I'm supposed to just go for it and not try to risk um, passing the turn. Dark Ritual, cycle this healer. Please hit Songs of the Damned. Draw. That was not good. Okay. Uh, so we're going to have to get pretty lucky here. Tap this and Song, or Reaping for five. Healer. And then return the Street Wraith first before returning anything else. Yeah, we just didn't draw Rituals this game. Cycle. Cycle the Architects. Come on, Doc. It's something. Dark Ritual. Okay. Cycle this Vantasaur. We're a third of the way through the deck now. Cycle. Cycle. All right. So we're now cut off. We, we've used triple Lotus Petal and our Islands tapped. So this repository scab in our hand is not looking so hot all right just keep cycling so there's songs but now we need to draw reaping the graves <laughs> uh we're in so much trouble okay dark ritual come on deck please i guess the blood celebrant or petal would also be good enough here cycle architects all right i have to burn the songs Cycle Horror? Ah, oh, Cabal Ritual's not good enough. Ah, oh, that's brutal. So, we're going to be dead here. I guess I should just make my opponent kill me. Like, they have something in their hand to kill me from 7 life. I, sh I just need to make them cast it. 4 mana, Battle Screech. Sure, you got it. Okay, so we lost game number 1. I think all I'm going to do is side in the flaring pain over an architect and call it a day. Unfortunately, the draws just didn't pan out there. We had a decent amount of time. We cycled pretty deep before going for it. We were at 42 cards left in library on our turn, and all we had seen was a dark ritual. But we just found the songs and the cabal rituals a little bit too late because then I couldn't cast the scab. We had already burned too many blue sources. Just researching some uh, red white lists at the moment. I have not seen a whole lot of graveyard hate clicking through, so I don't really feel the need to board in the shredded sails, which is something I do if I saw a lot of relics in these sideboards. But right now, it looks like it's mostly just the uh, prismatic strands. So we're just going to focus on doing our thing. And this hand's pretty good. I'm going to try this. All right, opponent taking a mulligan to six. I'm going to play the Baron more, and then in my upkeep, cycle the Ash Barons for a Swamp. All right, Baron more, and pass the turn. Mountain. Gorilla Shaman. That card doesn't matter. Okay, I guess it's a red one drop. Uh, it is a, a clock, technically. Draw. Okay, pass the turn. 
into seeker you got it i'm just gonna be lazy and cycle this now hit that f6 key and take one to 19. so even as like just a one drop i think it's fine like it can disrupt our pedals if we play poorly cycle cycle and let's cycle this three wreath just looking to hit land three we haven't hit it yet keep cycling okay pass the turn Five creatures in graveyard on turn three isn't bad. All right, Squadron Hawk. We're going to take three here, going to 12. Uh, Rally next turn might be close to lethal. We might want to consider going for it. Okay, cycle this down to 10 life, down to eight life. All right, I think we're going for it. Cabal Ritual, we do have Threshold. And then another one. But we're going to hold the songs for a little bit. Try to cycle our way through first. Okay. And beautiful draw there. I don't know if I want to play that swamp yet. We have all four Street Wraith in the graveyard. I think I actually might want to uh, sacrifice this for white to play the healer. Okay, Reaping the Graves, let's get back a healer. And we have enough mana where I'm not going to do the cycle thing because I want to play healer and gain a bunch of life. Return the Street Rates, just because they're mana efficient. So I'm really not going to burn a whole lot of resources by using this line, I guess is what I'm trying to say here. So let's cast the uh, healer. And now each of these Street Rates essentially cycles for one mana, or one life, I mean. Okay, cycle. Blood Celebrant was good. Cycle. And cycle. Cycle the healer. Okay. Cycle this. So I can use teachings here off of Blood Celebrant to go get another songs as well. I just have to be careful not to go too low on mana. Petal. Petal, play the Blood Celebrant, add a blue, cast Teachings, go get a Songs, two Songs left in the deck, Songs of the Damned, and I think we can play the Swamp at this point, and now let's cast it. Return Stinger, this is from 12, so it's going to return everything. And I think I'm just going to return all the creatures without cycling, because I want to play the Stinger and just start trying to win the game. Okay, that's everything. Did I misclick? I might have misclicked on one. Okay. We're at six life. All right, looks like I got everyone. Let's sacrifice this for red. Play the Stinger. We have nine life to work with here. And cycle. Okay, yield to that. Cycle this. All right, and our opponent conceded. Going to game three now. Do I want to change anything? I don't think so. I think we just want to, you know, do our thing. They don't have a whole lot of ways of interacting with us outside of the prismatic strands, and flaring pain just covers that, so... As long as we have a consistent draw, I, I like my chances. This is not a consistent draw, unfortunately. If this Lotus Puddle was a land, I'd probably keep it. Mulligan. This is fine. Keep. Bottom of the Architect. I want the Rituals for speed here. Alright, turn one Inspector. Reaping was a okay draw. So I think at this point, I just want to draw more creatures. Squadron Hawk, you got it. I'm just going to cycle. Okay. Street Wreath is good because it allows us to get two looks, technically three looks on our turn for the second land. So we want a land and a Cyclers this turn. All right, Teachings. Let's cycle. Uh, come on, deck. Awkward. All right, I don't think 
I was supposed to bottom a cabal ritual for what it's worth. You might be thinking like, well, why didn't you bottom a ritual and keep the architects? <sighs> like realistically, we're trying to win this game on turn four. And I don't think you're supposed to do that when you're trying to be quick. Draw. Pedal. Jeez. Um, I think we might want to do like a value reaping this turn. Let's dark ritual and then return all three creatures. Okay, Street Wraith, Vantasaur, draw. So I'm going to go to 13 here. If I cycle this Street Wraith and then they play Rally, I would take 9, and then a Bolt would put me to 1. Okay, so they would need Land, Rally, Bolt, even to just put me to 1. So I think I'm okay cycling. All right, I'm going to cycle this too. All right, play it and pass the turn. <sighs> Cutting it close here. Four mana, battle screech, and then they can flashback screech. So I'm dead next turn to a rally. Hmm. Draw. So I get one cycle here before I would need to cast songs. So the reason that I think you're supposed to cast songs uh, next is that I would have to Cabal Ritual cycle. Actually, that might be better. Let's do that. So essentially one of these. Yeah, this is probably a better line. All right, let's cycle this. And then that's the seventh card for the threshold on this Cabal Ritual. Now we can cycle this. All right, the blue source was decent. Cycle. Cycle. Pedal. Play the island. Cycle the stinger. That's going to make seven mana. I think mana is going to be a choke point this turn, so I'm going to try to squeak it a little bit here. And then this black songs. And now it's teachings. Go get another songs. And then cycle. Okay. Cabal ritual is fantastic. Okay, so now we reaping the graves. All right, so let's return Street Wraith. And then the others. Two songs down. We have two left. We can uh, flashback teachings if we're careful with how we do this. All right, keep cycling. Ritual is a great draw. Cycle. 34 cards left in deck. And again. I'm not going to cycle that. I don't want to waste the mana right now. I don't think the thinning is as important as just keep cycling. All right. And keep going. All right. That's interesting. I don't think we have to flashback teachings anymore. I think we can just keep cycling. All right. Cycle this. So. I played a land. I honestly don't know. I don't believe I have. Oh, no, I played the island. I'm just like trying to figure out what's the best way of going about this. I think I'm just going to return these. Yep, I've played my land. Okay. So let's, where's songs? Let's find songs in our graveyard. 11 creatures. Okay, so blue, play the scob. Exploit, sack it, return songs. Okay, now we can cycle one creature here before we have to cast it. All right, so 13 mana. And now we can cycle these, looking for a better game plan. And wow, another songs. That's the last songs, I believe. Or maybe we have two left. One. Two. All right, so there's one more in the deck. But now that lets me know that I can use teachings for reaping the graves instead. That's the reason why that was so good. 
Okay, and now let's cast the songs and teachings for Reaping the Graves. Okay, so we do have one more songs left. And this can get back the scob. All right. Brent nine, Street Wraith, and then the rest. We're not quite at the point where we can win because we don't have the Blood Celebrant. So we do have to dig just a little bit more. All right, so we're leaving one creature behind. All right, so we go to seven. Wow. All right. So I don't think mana's going to be a problem anymore. Uh, our opponent Javi is Javier Dominguez. Uh, super nice person. They said this deck is unreasonably good and that these were great games. Uh, and then they just conceded. Wow. All right. We are four. Oh, how about that? Two rounds left to go. We just have to play tight and, you know, do our thing. So... This deck is powerful, especially when people aren't running Graveyard Hate, which is sort of what's been the trend recently. It does do well against Affinity. I don't know. Cycle Storm is the real deal. More people should be playing it, but enough of my preaching. I'll see you shortly. Hey, you're still watching. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe. If you're looking to make a purchase from Card Hoarder, TCG Player, or Amazon, and are looking to support us, you can open up our description down below, and in there you will find our affiliate links. Those same links are found on the homepage of the Epic Storm, but that's not all. We've included a Card Hoarder button on our website that will load the Epic Storm in your Card Hoarder cart to make life simple for you. Match number five, our first win and in, and we are most likely facing affinity here. That's what our opponent is known for. I'm going to keep this. This seems great to me. We want to find a second land to increase our cycling velocity. And then after that, we want to find Songs of the Damned and Reaping the Graves. All right, we're just going to play our swamp and cycle. Okay, step number one, find Reaping the Graves. Now let's find a land and... Uh, you know, do our thing. Draw. <clears throat> Perfect. Everything is going very well right now. Now we just want to find rituals. Okay, cycle this. And let's cycle a healer. Repository scab, okay. Not the worst draw. Maybe we can use it a little bit more efficiently once we find a powerful ritual. And they have their best start turn to a tog. Okay, draw. All right, I'm going to play the Ash Barons just for, like I mentioned, cycling velocity. All right, let's cycle this Stinger. Another Dark Ritual. I'm actually going to cycle the Baron more here because I can cycle this Vantus for an extra turn off the Ash Barons. All right. So we're still looking for that Songs. Icar Wellspring. Swamp into Chrome Star. All right, so they're representing lethal next turn. We're probably going to want to try to win here. Another Ash Barons. Okay, let's cycle this Vantasaur. Draw Lotus Petal. Play the Ash Barons. Cycle Stinger. Good draw. Okay. Petal. Ritual. Ritual. Cabal Ritual. So that's Storm 4. We have how many creatures in Graveyard? 1, 2... Three, four, five, six, seven. So I could play Scab and get back Cabal Ritual, which would be minus one mana, but I'd get more creatures back. Or I can just Reaping for five. Kind of a tough call here. I think I'm just going to Reaping for five. All right, let's hope this works out. So I, or target these. I don't know why I said cycle there. Okay. Cycle this, looking for a big payoff. Cycle the Street Wraith. Cabal Ritual's good. Cast it, why not? Cycle. Okay, so that was strong. Now what we want to do is find another Reaping the Graves. Cycle this. Okay, cycle. Another land, not what the doctor ordered. Um... So I think what I'm going to do here, it's a tough choice. Hmm. I guess cycling this is essentially the same as getting scabbed to the graveyard, except I have the upside of hitting a ritual this way. I am so smart sometimes. Boom. 
play tight, get rewarded. All right, so now we play the scab. Whoops. And now we sacrifice the creature, return the reaping the graves. In this way, I also have a blue mana open for the scab on the way back. Okay, and now we return everything in the graveyard. Uh, Street Wraith first, and then the others. Okay. We're looking to draw into another songs here. That would be the best possible for us. Cycle. Teachings, okay. That's actually pretty good. Another teachings. The second one, not that is good, I'll say. Cycle. Let's cycle this. Okay. So what we're going to do right now is play teachings and go get another songs. And the blood celebrant was actually a pretty good draw because it's going to allow us to cast this teachings, but also the repository scab again. So cycle this. Petal. Okay. Cycle this stinger. Tree wreath to go to 13. Baron more. Cycle the healer, draw, or the broken land cycle. Another street wreath. This puts us to 11. Okay, now we can return this. Seven mana floating. Cycle. Petal. Okay. We're doing fine so far, but I would like another ritual. Maybe I'm being a little greedy. Cycle this. Okay, so... Scabs the next thing coming back. I guess I'll cycle here. I can still play petals into the uh, Songs of the Dam, but I drew Cabal Ritual anyway. Super lucky. All right, now we return the scab. Petal, petal, 20 cards left in deck. Blood Celebrant, now we use this for a blue, going to 10 life. And this is going to sacrifice and return songs. So let's sacrifice this, pick up a Songs of the Damned. Okay. Cast it for 15. Now let's cycle these Baron Moors. Cycle. Okay. Cycle. Cast this. And let's cast the Teachings. Why not? We have two songs left still. Wow. Okay, now let's flashback teachings. We still can flashback the other one as well. All right, so now we'll flashback this teachings and get Reaping the Graves, and it should just be easy peasy from here. Okay. All right, now we just have to click on all of our creatures. Sorry, I got a little sloppy in the middle there. I, I double clicked too many times, so I'm gonna go back through being a little bit more careful this time. Okay. I have like double the number of storm I actually need here for the amount of creatures. But uh, I'll take a game win, that's for sure. Turn four on the play against Affinity. You'll love to see it. Okay. And return the scob. All right, so we're going to go to eight life here. Play stinger. Play stinger. The only way I can lose now is me. So we want to pay attention to our life total. You don't want to accidentally cycle too many street rates. All right, so I'm going to cycle pretty much anything but street rates here. All right, set up our auto yields. 14 cards left in deck. We will not deck ourselves. Okay. It's just party time. Okay. I don't know why. I, I thought I actually clicked on a creature, if I'm being honest there. I wasn't expecting to uh, cycle on Ash Barons. Alright, so at this point, we just have to finish winning. Okay, Cabal Ritual is a fine draw. Cycle the Horror. And Cycle Architects. And that is game number one. Woot woot! Love it. All right, Hydroblast coming in. And I think I'm going to do the same thing as earlier, where I'm shaving one Architects and one Teachings. We did cast four copies of Mystical Teachings that game, but I don't think that was the norm. Uh, usually, you, you don't get away with that, but 
we were running a little bit hot. And now we're in game number two against Affinity Master. Fortunately, I don't think that this is a keep. We have to go to six. This seems fine. I think we just bottom a Lotus Petal here. Okay. So hands like this can be a little bit risky because Affinity boards in anywhere between two and three copies of Duress. And the Songs is a pretty good target for that Duress. We also only have one Cycler. What's it going to be here? Atog, okay. Draw. Cycle the Horror. Uh, a little bit awkward. Pass the turn. Three mana into Prism, okay. Duress. Not cast, okay. No blocks from me. Draw. Cycler. Ah. Oh. Awkward. Okay. I don't think we're getting this game. Four mana. I've got nothing. And they correctly took a songs, Prism. Mirror Enforcer. No blocks. Draw. Well, that's a creature. Cycle. Go to 16 cycle. Hmm. I guess I can kill the Atog. Try to buy a little bit of time here. Another Atog. And another Atog, okay. So I think I'm gonna block. Because the color fixing doesn't matter when we have double pedal. And this way the songs would make an extra mana if I do rip a good card here. This is our last turn, so I might as well just pretend that I'm going to be able to win. So let's cycle the Stinger and just pray to hit a Reaping the Graves. Teachings. Technically it's a Reaping the Graves, but super expensive. Alright, so we need a Miracle to win this game, I believe. We're already down two songs. Get Reaping. Cast Reaping. Celebrant first. Okay, and then... Let's do Street Wraith, and then the other creatures. Okay, Cycle Street Wraith. Stinger, Cycle. Ploy? I don't think we have enough uh, Cycles here to keep me alive, so let's count real quick. So this is 12 damage, 16 damage, 18 damage. I've discarded five cards this turn, but I'd be dead to a blast. Or fling. I think I'm just gonna... I don't know. Screw it, let's cycle. We've not played a land. Who knows, maybe this keeps me alive. Black, colorless, blue. Let's play the ploy. Discard Celebrant. Ah, that's not good enough. All right, so I'm exactly dead here as long as my opponent can count. Oh, and that's just way overkill. Okay. So game three coming up. I don't think I'm going to change anything here. I'm just going to resubmit. We just needed a better draw that game. Um, can't be too upset about that. And we're on the play for the third game. This seems reasonable. I'll keep this. We're going to cycle an Ash Barrens for a Swamp. And I'm actually going to play out Petal here. And it seems a little bit strange, but this way Duress doesn't actually hit anything, and I like that. Grab our Swamp and pass the turn. All right, Great Furnace, pass, draw. Well, unfortunately now... Uh, dress does have a target, but I guess I could always ritual in response, let the dress resolve, and then cycle a bunch. All right, turn to, Oh, not Atog. Okay. And now let's cycle the Dino. Cycle the Architects. Draw. 
Let's cycle the Street Wraith. I'm trying to hit land three here. Cycle. Cycle the Horror. Pass the turn. So now I'm probably going to get hit by Dress and they're going to strip the Ritual. Because I think they might have been color screwed, which is why they played the Prism. Yep. I mean, hitting Cabal Ritual isn't the end of the world for us. All right, that was good for them. Songs was an amazing draw. Cycle. And... I think they're going to kill me. Probably not, but let's play the Blood Celebrant. Just to make sure. Five cards on our opponent's hand. Frogmite. Two mana. What are you doing? Two mana. Nope. Okay. So they did play a prism and now they have one mana open. So hypothetically, let's say I don't block. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think it's just better to block. Another creature in the graveyard for songs to draw. Let's cycle this Vantasaur. All right, play songs. If they have a dispel, it's going to stink, but all right. So now we need to find Reaping the Graves. We have four lux. Boom! That was so good. All right. So they're representing Red Blast or Galvanic Blast here, and those are the cards we need to play around. Um, I'm gonna remove the island from the deck. Play it. Cycle Stinger. Draw into another Reaping. Wow. All right, Cycle Baron more trying to hit here. I can afford to go to 16, that's fine. And another Songs, so that was really good. Okay, so Storm's only two. I didn't realize that, so we're going to play the Songs, and then this Song's only returning four. <laughs> okay. Um, let's do Stinger. I didn't realize my Storm count was so low. Street Wraith. Street Wraith, and then Healer. We can just return all four. I don't need to do any sort of tricks here. Um, I think I'm going to try to trick my opponent a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the Stinger and start cycling. to. I want them to try to kill it in response to increase my Storm Count for the second Reaping the Graves. Okay. Go to 12, cycle. Another songs, wow. Okay, pretty good. Cycle. We don't need that swamp. Cycle this. So our next one at the bare minimum is going to be seven. Dark Ritual, okay. Songs of the Damned. And now Reaping the Graves. They never bit there, but that's okay. Let's return the Blood Celebrant this time. And then the other Stinger. Uh, they only have one untapped red, so I'm going to return both Street Rates. Okay. And there's no need to cycle on the stack here. We have 31 floating mana. All right, so that Gaff Blast was actually good for me because now I don't have to play around a Red Elemental Blast. So if I draw a Teachings or the Repository Scab, it's just going to be Lights Out. So I am actually completely fine with that. My question is, am I supposed to cycle this Stinger or play it out? So if I play it out, I have six draws. But if I fizzle, it's going to look really bad. I think I'm going to play it. We have 30 cards left in deck with 6 draws. I shouldn't fizzle here. Let's start on cycling the horror. Ooh, okay. That was a good one. Play another stinger. Down to 10 life. Cycle Street Wraith. We're pretty close to winning. We just need to draw a few cyclers here. Alright. That was not a bad draw. Cycle this. Hydroblast. Okay. 
The ball ritual. We just need a little bit more. Come on, give me another cycler. Oh no. Oh no. Cycle. Three. Yes. That's KO. Thank you, Doc. I appreciate you. Reaping the Graves. Return the whole party. Okay. Everyone's coming home. You get a car, you get a car, we all get cars. Okay, so we're returning everything now, and then we just have to finish cycling. I guess I could cycle here. I don't need to return everything. Our opponent's already dead. But why not? I've already started. Might as well finish it. Okay. And then cycle the horror. And another. All right. We are 5-0. And uh, we are maybe facing another 5-0 next round or an X-1. Uh, I don't know who won the pair down this round. It certainly wasn't us. We faced another 5-0. But we are locked for top eight. One round left to go, and then the top eight portion. Stick around. Let's see how deep we can make this uh, run go. Match number six. This round honestly doesn't really matter. We're already locked for top eight. So at this point, it's kind of just getting information out of what our opponent's playing for us. Because I think most people would know me from just like, well, A, my name, or B, goldfish history. All right, so Baron Moore passed the turn. And is the Thraben Inspector on white? It appears no, they're on fairies. Okay, so our first real blue deck of the event. Honestly, this is pretty good information for me. Uh, I think I'm actually going to Dark Ritual here and just do the triple cycle. We need to hit a land drop pretty badly, so I think it's worth it. All right, cycle. And cycle. No land. Play off the pedal. That way it doesn't get by spell stutter sprite later. We ran out of cyclers there. No land either. Looks like they're going to ninja. Pretty wild. Okay. Draw. We hit our land. Unfortunately, I don't think that this is a spot where we should be trying to push it. I'm just going to pass the turn. I think if our opponent just like plays a bunch of spells here, I would consider end step reaping the graves just to return these. All right, so they played their island. Are they on mono blue? They have to be on mono blue because they're not running snow covered either, which means that they're not on scred. So I think that this is mono blue fairies. And they're just going to pass the turn. Sure. Moving to discard. So they're playing super protective. All right, so that was good. But unfortunately, we're just stuck in a spot where we can't really do a whole lot. Okay, so we're going to go to 14 here. And is our opponent going to play anything? Nope. So this ninja is not doing a whole lot. Like, it's slowly sculpting, but they could be doing more. All right, they discarded snap. They're definitely on uh, mono blue if they're on snaps. Okay, well, we hit a land. I mean, I guess it's fine. We need creatures. And there's a spell stutter. Sure. Okay. Island number five for the opponent. We're taking three here, going to 11. And they won't have to discard this turn because they played out a spell stutter. Draw another Ash Barons. Just gonna play it. I might try to end step teachings. See if I can draw out a counter spell with that. Okay, so we're gonna go to eight life here. Nine cards in our opponent's hand. And they're just super uh, unwilling to commit anything. Let's try the teachings. And it resolves. Okay, let's get... Hmm. 
Honestly, I think just like Dark Ritual, because we don't even... Yeah, I think it's just Dark Ritual. I don't want to get a Songs when it's essentially the same thing right now. And another Cabal Ritual is actually kind of clunky. Discarded Preordained Fairy. Alright, Creature's good. Cycle. And another Cabal. I think I'm just going to pass the turn here. So we only have four creatures. All right. Land number six, and they're just going to pass. Um, hmm. I think I'm going to try to cycle a little bit on their turn. And a spell stutter. Okay. What about this Cabal Ritual? Am I allowed to do that? Okay, so looks like we're going to get to resolve some stuff on our turn. How about this Cabal Ritual? Does that resolve? What about this one? Cycle Architects. Cycle again. Lotus Petal. Songs? Does this resolve? Alright, so they counterspelled. Alright. We have five mana, which isn't a whole lot. One song's down. We have six, which should return everything here. We're just going to have to get a little bit lucky and hit another songs. Okay. Need a little bit of luck on our side, but we can do this. Cycle the horror. Not going to cycle that. Uh, let's cycle the Vantasaur. Cycle Stinger. Dark Ritz okay here. Just need to hit. Cycle. Three, it's fine. We go to three. Cycle the Dino. Come on, give me a Songs of the Damned. Cycle Street Wraith. Okay, we're at one. Cycle. Yes! Hell yeah. All right. Songs. And now we can cycle this Architects. We're not completely out of this yet. I wonder if I should actually hang on to this uh, healer. Probably not. I just need to keep going. Cycle. Um, this is a tough call here. I don't think I'm supposed to cycle, so I'm going to flashback teachings and get songs, which leaves me with one songs left in the deck. And the reason why I don't want to is I think I'm going to play a healer and then start cycling so that eventually I can cycle these street rates more. And then that way I still have a blue open too. So I'm choosing to not to make one extra mana here. Okay, Stinger, Cycle. All right, so now let's return Healer. Okay, Storm is 12. And I'm just going to return... Uh, do I want to return everything? I think the answer is yes. How many songs do I have? One, two. I only have one songs left in the deck. Yeah, I'm just going to return everything here because I get to me a few extra cycles with the street rates. Okay, so everything's going to come home. I could also do double uh, healer to buy time. Which might not be the worst idea. I don't know. White. Play healer. Um, do I want to do this? I think I'm going to. Alright. Cast the healer. Cycle horror. Auto yield to this. 
Okay. Dark Ritual's good. Let's cycle horror again. Petal. Alright, and now let's cycle street rates. They break even on life. Which is why one of the reasons I wanted to play out double horror to begin with. Cycle. Cycle the architect. Come on, deck. Cycle Dino. Two mana floating. Let's cycle another Dino. Have I played a land yet? I have not. So let's play the Ash Barons. Cycle Dino. Ooh, songs. Okay. Uh, let's cycle once more and then I'll cast the songs. All right. I'm going to cycle this for free. I just want the songs to make more mana. Okay. So you might be asking, like, why don't you cast Cabal Ritual there? I don't want to cut myself off of other colors and right here i'm actually going to play stinger and keep cycling 15 cards left i think that i can do this okay cycle i have to click on the stinger first so that way the other two just auto work uh cycle this healer okay draw another horror Going down to nine mana here. Eight mana. I'm sorry. <sighs> Ploy. It doesn't do a whole lot here. Let's cycle the architects. So there's ten cards left. We haven't hit the blood celebrant yet or the repository scab. Uh, we've played all four songs of the damned, I believe. Yeah, all four songs are gone. Let's cycle the Stinger. Actually, I guess it doesn't make sense with those songs left on the deck. I might want to keep that. Okay. There's the Scab. But at this point, I'd have to hit Repository Scab plus something else, like a Cabal Ritual, in order to cast it. Nine cards left. Let's cycle Stinger. Mm, I don't think I have it. Okay, keep cycling. Eight cards. There's the Celebrant, but now I'm too short on mana. Play Celebrant. I think I'm actually just going to cast these Stinger here. Or should I Reaping the Graves and next turn I can play Stinger? But then it has to resolve. I don't know. They're at 12. I think I'm just going to play the Stinger. We've got bodies. Pass the turn. I might actually just have to attack for lethal. I'm also curious how many snaps our opponent has in their hand. Alright, so they're starting off on a Ponder. And I don't know if they shuffled or not. One second. My my log is behind. They chose to shuffle off the first one. Also, I'm down to 14 minutes. This has been a long game. Did not shuffle off the second one. Actual factual boomerang. Wow. Okay. And a fairy miscreant. So I think I've got this now. I'm going to play scab, get, pick up a songs, and just get them. Okay, draw. Player land, tap these. I just need to move quickly at this point. Exploit, sack the scob. Grab songs. Cast it. Add a red. Play it. Uh, let's return Granite Stinger. And then Stinger. Scob, Street Wraiths, okay. I'm trying to be quick about this. All right, add a blue, play Scob. I'm also trying to not run out of mana. So like, maybe I didn't need to play the Scob here, but I'm not sure, and I just don't want to take the time to do the math. All right, cast it, add a red, Stinger. 
All right, cast it, play another Stinger. Cycle Street Wraith. Okay, so we need to cycle three times here. Cycle the Vantasaur. So it looks like I'm probably going to... Oh, I'm going to get game number one here. I, I just have it. Um, but now we have to win a post-board game in 12 minutes. And we're not guaranteed to get the second one. Wow. That was a game. <laughs> oh, kind of surprised I got that. That was exciting, though. So now we board in our Pyroblasts. And I don't love teachings here, so I'm going to take out one of those. Take out the Architects. I do like land 13 against blue decks. So now I have to find one more card to take out. I think it's just uh, the Lotus Petal. Whew, need to breathe after that. That was a crazy match. Or, well, crazy game. And I'm just going to submit this. Could board in the Shredded Sails preemptively. Uh, because they're mono blue, they are more most likely to have, um, let's keep this, what is it called? Spire Golem. So it can kill that. It also can kill a spell stutter with the trigger on the stack, but I just don't want to have to deal with that. I'm just going to try to do my thing. Cycle. Yeah, let's play out the paddle in case I miss next turn. It doesn't get hit by spell stutter. All right, preordain. And Island. Very Miscreant getting in. Draw. Cycle Stinger. Songs of the Damned. Cycle Street Wraith. And a miss. We're going to pass the turn here. Hopefully our opponent taps out on their turn and gives us a little bit of a window. Delver. Okay. But they could have like Dispel or Spell Pierce here. I think I'm just going to move to discard and discard this Blood Celebrant. It's a creature. Four Songs of the Damned and Reaping the Graves. And I don't really feel like I have the capability of playing it out here. All right, come on, tap out. Put Ninja into play. Nope. All right, so they're playing very cautiously. Let's cycle the Vantasaur. And move to clean up. I need them to foolishly give me a window. Boomerang. Okay. So discard this horror and... I don't know. Stinger. Alright. They have four cards. Delver did not flip again. They draw a card off this. Oh no, that's Fairy Seer. I thought it was a Fairy Miscreant. Two on the bottom. Holding up two cards in hand still. Come on, Black Source. Nope. I really wanted to rip a Black Source there because it would have given me a window to win. I'm not going to cast uh, like a Songs or whatever into their untapped mana. Once again, Delver did not flip. Not very well trained. I'm at 9. Draw. Okay. Dark Ritual. Must they pay two? Well, I can pay two here. Does this resolve? Oh, I got four spiked. That stinks. Ouch. All right, three cards in their hand. And boomerang. Okay. So they have boomerang and unknowns. One untapped. I need my spell to resolve here. Not going to play in a four spike. Songs. All right. That's a good sign. I think I'm going to cycle the stinger. I could play it for storm, but I don't think that's the play here. Okay. So this is going to return five. I think I want to get back the Blood Celebrant so that way I can play the Scob. Alright, and then Stinger. Stinger. I don't think I want to get the Street Wreath, but I'm not positive. 
healer, Street Wraith. Let's do it. All right, we have 16 mana. Let's play healer. Cycle Stinger. I'm not at the point where I should be trying to win. Oh, they just conceded. Okay, I'll take it. We are 6-0 and going into top eight. We will be the top seed. First place, three more matches, hopefully. Maybe I just jinxed it. Who knows? Stick around. Let's see if I can uh, not jinx myself. If you're looking for more great Magic the Gathering content, definitely check out the Eternal Glory podcast. It is myself, Brian Cook, alongside Brian Koval and Phil Gallagher. We primarily discuss Legacy. That said, a lot of what we talk about transcends all formats. We're available on all major podcast platforms. Welcome to Top 8. We're facing Paulo who plays a lot of Mono Blue Fairies. They actually won a challenge recently with Mono Blue Fairies, but they also have a finish with Cycle Storm. So you never know if they're actually going to be on Cycle Storm or Mono Blue Fairies. Maybe even Affinity, who knows? I mean, you, you kind of have to put people on Affinity. It's 25% of the format at the moment. It's just, it's insane. But I think most likely you just assume that our opponent is on Mono Blue Fairies. And we've opened up a reasonable hand here. We have double cycler. We can go get our island. I like this. Let's keep. All right, Paulo, what are you on? Okay. I'm not sure if I'd rather face mono blue or the mirror, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, mono blue is a very difficult matchup. Okay. And it looks like they're on fairies. Draw. Vantasaur. I think I'm just going to go get the island here. And. Hmm. You know what? I'm not going to play out the pedal. I'm going to keep it for Storm. We have three lands here. I think I might be able to just like not have to do that this game. And I don't want to lose Storm Count if I don't have to. All right. Ponder from our opponent. And island into a fairy seer. I was studying our opponent's list uh, before our match started, and it looks like they don't play any one mana counter spells in the main deck, so two mana per counter spell. Another Ash Barons, that's kind of annoying. Uh, let's just go get a swamp here. Try to reduce our odds of drawing garbage. And cycle. Reaping the Graves is a good one. Okay. Our opponent's going to get in there. We'll take two. The question is, are they going to play a ninja? Pause on the block step. This is a ninja coming in. We're going to take three, down to 16. Theoretically, this could have been a window if our hand was faster. It's just not. Uh, I don't know. And they missed their land drop. Okay. <laughs> the the last Ash Barons. Jeez. Let's go get the last the last basic out of the deck so that way we don't draw it. But holy, like, it's, this is a little ridiculous. Um, we're just going to cycle here. Cycle Stinger. Just kind of wild. It's a lot of lands, but at least w when we start comboing, hopefully, uh, knock on wood, that we don't fizzle due to drawing too many lands. One on top, one on the bottom here. So our opponent probably kept the land on top, so that way they have a counter spell up on their turn. Which would make sense. We're going down to 13 here. And there's the land for the counter spell. Unfortunately, we just don't have a whole lot of mana going on for us. Well, that's good. I wonder if I could trick them. Like cast dark ritual. See if they spell stutter it. And then play Swamp Cycle Cycle Petal Songs. I think I should probably just wait. All right, let's start cycling. Or, okay, th that's another idea is that I cycle these and then try to Dark Ritual here. 
Yeah, I think I like this. It's like baiting them into countering a card I don't care about. Come on, counter this ritual. Good deal. Okay. They've eaten the bait. All right, 10 cards in graveyards. We have threshold. Let's sacrifice this for black, Cabal Ritual, and Cycle Baron more. All right, Cycle Baron more. Come on, deck, be good to me. Cycle Healer. Ploy. I think I might actually cast the Ploy here for increased storm count. I guess uh, I don't actually need increased storm count here. I can return everything. All right, so let's return Healer and then Street Wraith first. Looking for another Songs at the moment. Okay. So cycle the Street Wraith. Vantasaur. Teachings can get songs, so let's go do that. All right, Teachings is on the stack. This songs is going to make eight mana, and we'll have two more songs left in the deck after. All right. Cycle Horror. Cycle Vantasaur. Uh, I'm not going to cycle that. Cycle Horror. Wraith, down to five mana. Healer, we need to hit at some point. Four mana floating. There we go. Cycle of the Stinger. So we have one songs left in the deck at this point. Cycle the Architects. So now we have two mana floating. We can get one more cycle in. Ding. Okay, love the Cabal Ritual draw there. That was so good. Cycle of the Stinger. All right, we're just cruising. Yes. And I can Mystical Teachings if I need to for Reaping the Graves if I don't draw one. All right, we're at 24 cards left in our deck at the moment. And that's the last copy of Songs. Cycle this healer going down to four mana. Architects going down to three mana. Let's cycle the Baron more. Cycle healer. And now we have to play at least one copy of Songs. We drew Reaping the Graves. So good. All right. Blood Celebrant. We've got it from here songs and reaping everyone's coming home this time okay street wreath dino okay i don't need to announce everything i can just click through it's fine <sighs> yes so we are going to get game number one over mono blue fairies which is just a miserable matchup the post-war games will get tougher when they have Dispel and Hydro Blast in their deck. Because right now they only have two mana counters. Alright. Red. Play Stinger. Add another red. Going down to five. So I just have to make sure not to accidentally kill myself here. Uh, let's cycle the Horror. 21 mana should be more than enough. And if I need to gain life, I can always play Ploy as well. Okay, cycle. Virtual. Cycle the Architects. Auto yield to this. And again. At this point, you kind of just have to go through and click. It's fine, though. I don't mind doing it. Playing this deck is super fun. If you're thinking about getting into it, definitely do it. It is a little bit pricey due to the price of Lotus Petal and paper and online. But if you already own Lotus Petals, there really isn't that much cost to it. Uh, most of the cost of the deck is, in fact, Lotus Petal. But like I mentioned, if you already have them, definitely consider playing this deck. It's really good against Affinity as well. Okay. Cycle the Dino. Cycle Dino. That's going to do it. All right, that's game number one.
19 minutes still on clock. Plenty of time. All right. Mountain Pyros. No graveyard hate in our opponent's last list either. So let's get rid of these architects, sport out a pedal. And that's it. Looks good to me. Okay, game two. I'm going to keep this. I know we kept a hand very similar to this in the last round. And it worked out, but this could bite me in the buns. Certainly a little bit risky. This hand would have been a mulligan with Lotus Petal, but because we have the mountain, this is in fact a keep. All right, I like the pedal draw. Let's cycle. Blood Celebrant. Ugh. All right. This is looking more and more like that last draw. <laughs> All right, two mana for the opponent and a ponder. Did not shuffle. Fairy Seer. Okay. Draw. Yikes. Cycle. Okay, I like the Swamp Draw here. And I can play out the Blood Celebrant. So I think the best thing that could possibly happen is I just draw a chain of uh, creatures on my turn. All right, well, I can't block the Fairy if they have the Ninja. And they do have Ninja. Okay. Are they going to tap out and replay Fairy? No. Okay. Let's get in there with their Blood Celebrant, I think. Or should I leave it back? I should probably leave it back to block. Cycle. Ooh, cycle. Hmm. Let's cycle the Baron more. Another songs. I'm just going to pass here. I thought about jamming. I just don't think you're supposed to. All right, I'm going to block the uh, the ninja here. So I'll go up to five creatures in graveyard. Really, I would really like it if my opponent taps some mana, and they did not. All right, let's cycle the Baron more. Okay, just keep cycling. A. So the plan right now is to overwhelm them, force them to tap out. Fairy Seer. Okay. So they could have Dispel plus one other counter here, and their board only has two Dispel in it. So if it is Dispel, it's only a two of. And now they have double hard counter again. Draw. I mean, I could go for it here. Cabal Ritual. Okay, Songs. Do you have it? They do. But we still get to go. Songs of the Damned. And I think I might hold back this other Songs, trying to get a little bit more mana out of it. So that's from seven. Only six creatures in Graveyard, so I don't need to cast this Songs quite yet. All right, and Street Wraith, and then the others. Okay. Let's cycle this going down to 12. Okay, so now we want to find another copy of Reaping the Graves. Dark Ritual. I don't need to cast that yet. Let's see if we actually hit another Ritual. Come on, Doc. Cycle. Give me a Reaping. So now we need to find a blue source. I mean, that's not the worst. Let's just find, you know, we haven't played a land yet this turn. So an Ash Burns could do it or a Lotus Petal. Cycle the healer. That should do it. Let's go get the island out. And Cabal Rat. Okay, cycle. Cycle. Don't need to do that. This is Blood Celebrant, so I should probably cast these songs right now. All right. Oh, I guess I didn't need a blue source. I had the Celebrant. I forgot about that. 
That was a little bit of a misplay on my part, I think. Okay, so let's play the teachings. Go get Reaping the Grease. We only have one songs left in our deck. Alright, so we have seven... I'm sorry, eight mana here. Street Wraith. A little bit nervous. Alright, Cycle. Pyro. Cycle Healer. We need to find songs number four. That was a good one. Okay, I think... I'd also take Repository Scab, depending on how deep it is in the deck when we find it. Alright, Cycle Vantasaur. <laughs> Pyro number three. Let's cycle here. Dark Ritual's good. Okay. Cycle Stinger. Cycle Stinger. Petal. Cycle. You might have thought, like, Bryant, why don't you flashback teachings? It just doesn't make enough mana. We're not going to be able to win that way. So that's why I'm not as interested in that line. All right. So how many creatures are we actually returning here? I have two cycles. Um, let's cycle the healer, I guess. Okay. So these are all dead. And then... The horror comes back. Okay, cycle. And we did not hit. Uh, yep, okay. So we'll play Blood Celebrant. Play the pedal. Go to nine. Let's kill the ninja. They have four cards. Um, I'm going to kill the fairy too, I think. Pass the turn. All right, so that didn't quite go the way that I wanted it to, but I still don't think burning the teachings when I had seven mana floating was the right move. All right, and here's a ninja. Okay. So I can go get the last swamp out of the deck here. Going down to 17 cards. Let's pyroblast the ninja. Um, make a red, and let's destroy the ninja again. They have three cards. That's all four of my pyroblast gone. All right, I'm an aggro deck. Hear me roar. Okay, draw. Get in there. Going to 18. I'm going to play out the Ash Barons and then play the Street Wraith. You're going to counterspell it? Okay. Three cards left in the opponent's hand. No. All right. Pass the turn. And a Spell Stutter. Okay. Two cards left and three after their draw step. Two cards now. I should probably shouldn't have six, my bad. Ah, crap, too late. And let's get in there. Like I mentioned, still two cards in our opponent's hand. Street Wraith. A... And that resolves, so I think I'm actually going to hang on to this Baron more. Maybe I shouldn't. Because it, it can gain me an extra life off this ploy, assuming that the play resolves. I'm not sure what I should do. Okay. Draw. Let's attack for four. All right, I'm going to pass. In their upkeep, though, I'm going to cycle and then cast the ploy, trying to get them to tap a little bit of mana on their turn. All right, let's cycle the horror, trying to gain three life here. Cycle stinger. Okay, and then play ploy. 
So if they have a counter spell, this is a pretty juicy target for it. And discard the Ash Baron. So now I'm at 10 life. I can actually play Vantasaur on my turn. It's just like a 3-6. <laughs> okay, two cards in our opponent's hand. Draw. This puts them to 9. I'm trying to figure out if I want to jumpstart Ploy or not. Eight cards left in my deck. Let's cycle. I thought about casting it. I just don't think that's the right thing to do. Cycle. And let's jumpstart ploy. Discard the Baron more. And a resolve. Wow. Okay, uh, let's discard the healer. I think we want the storm kind of scob. All right, they have two cards. Three after draw step. I believe I have one more songs left in the deck, too. All right, so they're going to attack with two. I go to ten. Draw. Dark Ritual. Play Repository Scob. Even if this gets countered, I'm able to reaping the Graves now. Let's sacrifice it. Get back. Songs of the Damned. Cast Songs? Oh my. I think we got it. Storm 5. Stinger, 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 Stinger. Okay. Opponent's being very careful about this. I wonder if they just have like a single counter spell or something. Play Scob again. I mean, the first one resolved. I don't know why this one won. Okay, sacrifice. We're going to return songs again. Songs. Okay, Castinger. They might just have a bunch of blue blasts in their hand, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. That makes a lot of sense why they haven't been doing anything because they boarded in a bunch of blue blasts and they just haven't been able to use them. So two cards still in hand. Okay, go to seven. I only have three cards left in my deck, so I need to watch that. Return the scob plus a whole bunch of other stuff. Storm 13. Okay. And our opponent conceded. We're going to top four. We be a miserable matchup in back-to-back -back matches. Cycle Storm is so good. Wow. Uh, this match was really awesome. Props to our opponent. They played very well. But we're advancing. I'm going to see you in top four shortly. Top four, and we are meeting Javier Dominguez once again on Red White Boros. All right. Uh... This hand seems fine. We'll keep it. They're on the play. And looting. Main deck dust to dust. Spicy. Another teachings. I'm just going to cycle the architect. I want to cycle my creatures first in case I hit a swamp. I can still cycle these barren moors. And if I don't hit a swamp, I can play one. Boros Garrison. Sure. Not a very fast start for our opponent. Cycle this opposing Vantasaur, and there's a Swamp. Now I can cycle this. Pass the turn. Basically, I just want to keep my options open for these Baron Moors, because if they could be converted into cards that don't stink, I'd love that. And the Seeker, sure. Cycle Horror. Cycle Vantasaur. All right, now I need to play a Baron more, unfortunately. Pass the turn. We do have double teaching, so with how slow our opponent's draw is, we can use both teachings if uh, we don't get clocked very quickly. Inspector floating two. Inspector floating one. Two mana open and sacking a clue. 
All right, so we're going to fall to 18 here. They'll have possibly five mana on their turn. Let's cycle a healer. Okay. Cycle. Cycle. Songs. Songs makes eight mana. I'm just going to play Baron Moore and pass. I think I will try to win on my turn. All right. So even if they have Rally Bolt Bolt, I don't think I'm dead here. All right. Sack Clue. And another Seeker. All right. So we'll take four damage and then we're going to party. Draw. Dark Ritual. Dark Ritual. Cycle Stinger. Play Petal. Cycle Street Wraith going down to 12 life. Draw. Cabal Ritual is a good one. Let's play Songs. Play Scob. I will exploit it. And get back Songs of the Damned. Cast Songs of the Damned for 11 this time. Blue mana, teachings. Okay, let's. How much does songs make? Eleven. Yeah, let's do this. I'm gonna get another songs and then flashback teachings. So that way, I'll have twenty-one mana, I believe. Yep, twenty-one mana. And I get to return everything. So let's return the scob, and then everything else comes home as well. Street wraith, stinger. And then everything else. Okay. Cycle. Actually, I have so much mana, I'm just going to return everything. I don't need to do cute cycle tricks at the moment. It's just wasting my time. All right. Um, right. Let's cycle here. At this point in the game, I just really want to find my Blood Celebrant. Another Stinger. Cycle. You two. I guess I can play the swamp. There's nothing, no reason why I shouldn't. The island's already out of the deck. Okay, keep cycling. Barret's good. 29 cards left. Will I ever draw the Blood Celebrant? Ding! Okay, and now we make red mana, player stinger. Red mana, stinger, cycle, and auto yield. So we have auto yielded right eight life. I just have to pay attention to that. Sometimes I get a little bit too reckless. So it's just something that I like paying attention to. Cycle, bar it was good. We have one swamp left in the deck. Let's go get that out. All right, and our opponent is conceded. So now we only have to get one of the two post board games in a relatively good matchup. So let's bring the Flaring Pain, take out an Architect. That's it. We are one game away from being in the finals. Okay, game number two against Boros Midrange. I think I'm going to keep this. Like, it's fine enough. We do want to find a Reaping the Graves and probably a few more Cyclers, but it's decent. Prismatic Strands, I don't care about that. All right, player Baron Morn passed the turn. Interesting that they discarded Pyroblast, though. A little surprised by that. Squadron Hawk, you got it. Like, what is the rest of their hand where they're discarding Pyroblast, you know? Let's cycle healer. Cycle the street wraith trying to hit a land. We did not. Okay, so I think I'm going to discard teachings here. We can flash it back for black mana. I could have discarded the blood celebrant, but then the teachings gets awkward. So, and I think we need to keep the dinos. Another hawk, sure. All right, so we're going to fall to 17 life. Draw. Reaping. 
All right, I'm going to Dark Ritual here and just try to get a few extra cycles in. Another Reaping. Cycle the Vantasaur. Let's cycle Baron more. I don't really want to play it as a land. And then pass the turn. Seven cards in Graveyard now. Only four creatures. We can put it up to five with the Horror next turn. But I'm just worried a little bit about being too light on creatures. So if I draw a Cycling creature, I could reevaluate battle screech all right so now they're threatening lethal next turn with a rally so i'm gonna want to try to win okay draw cycle ah oh, not a cycler okay um dark ritual let's cycle the horror okay i love the street wraith draw that was actually very good ding all right, let's go down to three mana floating. Flaring Pain, that's fine. Let's play the Blood Celebrant. Seven creatures in Graveyard. So I think I'm supposed to burn the songs here just to increase our storm count. All right, and then return Street Wraith first. Street Wraith, Healer, Dino, Dino. Okay, and then let's cycle these. Two songs left in deck. I have to keep that in mind. Ten life. Cycle. I guess I have this teachings that I could always um, flashback to. All right, cycle this. Cycle the horror. All right, so I have exactly seven mana floating. So I can teachings for songs, which would make ten mana. And then I'd have one left in deck. I think that's worth it to me. So let's go get one of our two songs that are left. Play the songs. <clears throat> Excuse me. Cycle Imposing Vantasaur. All right, a lot of land so far, but we were stuck on land, so it's not uh, a surprise to me. Another Reaping. And this is a Vantasaur. So we're going to cycle this. Petals. We're at 10 life. All right, we're just going to go again. Return Horror. One song's left. We want to hit it. Wraith, Wraith, and then everything else. Okay. Cycle these. Stinger. All right, we're at six. Cycle the stinger. Ooh, so that can return um, Songs of the Damned, but it's not going to have a whole lot of creatures in our graveyard if I just do that. So I think I have to keep cycling. We just have to hope to hit like a Cabal Ritual or a Dark Ritual to put some more in there. Okay, going down to two mana. Come on, deck, please. Please be good to me. Uh-oh. I think I fizzled. Cycle. So I technically get one more cycle here because I haven't played a land yet, but I think I died. All right. So these all just come back. Damn. So I have one songs that I can hit. I guess a Dark Ritual will give me a little bit of life, but come on. All right, we fizzled. Let's go to game three. We only had 22 cards left, but the odds weren't in our favor, so I'm not surprised by that. Not hitting the second land was pretty brutal. Let's just, you know, play tight, try to win game number three. All right, on the play. And unfortunately, we've opened up a mulligan. I can't keep that. I think I'm supposed to keep this, and then we bottom the scob. I don't love this hand. I feel like we have to get a little bit lucky to win here, but I'm not supposed to ship it. Okay. Pass. Permanent inspector. Draw. All right, cycle the healer, pedal. 
Okay. Mountain into what? Nothing. Pass. Okay. Cycle healer. I'll take creatures. Creatures and lands are really what I want at the moment. All right, land number three, lone missionary. Sure. Draw. Let's cycle the Vantasaur. That's a bummer. Play out the pedal and pass. So we saw that our opponent boarded in Pyroblast, so I can't really rely on this teaching. It's like, I, I don't, it's not a guarantee that this is a live card. All right, now another red source from our opponent. They left one up, which tells me that they might have a Pyroblast in hand or a Bolt. The best case scenario for us is that our opponent taps out for something like Battle Screech. And then on our turn, we draw a Cycler. We go Dark Ritual Cycler, which would put us to five cards in Graveyard, sack both Lotus Petals, Cabal Ritual, Cabal Ritual, and then Teachings, Reaping the Graves, do our thing. Two white and a red. Rally. That's interesting. So they're dealing seven. I go to 11. Draw. Swamp. Okay, I'm going to pass the turn here. If they bolt me and step, that only put me to one. Okay, so it looks like they're only going to attack for three this time, so I'll go to eight. Which is fine with me. Five mana. Guardian, sure. So I'm trying to figure out what I want to do here. I think it's just Dark Ritual Teachings and make them Pyroblast. Yep, okay. So now we have to get lucky and win. Draw. Oh, come on. Really? That stinks. I, I don't think we're going to be able to win this now. Okay, so we have Threshold. This is just so disappointing. All right. Teachings. Get Reaping the Graves. If I win this, I'd just be so flabbergasted. Like, I shouldn't be winning this game. I have to play one songs here. Okay. This is just sad. My draws did not pan out. Alright, Cycle of Healer. Alright, Cycle Healer. Cast that. I'm just dead. What am I doing? Okay. Unfortunately, our draws didn't really pan out in the post board game, so we did not make the finals. But top four is still pretty good. Hard to be upset with that. And, uh, yeah, thank you for watching. I don't think I'd change anything about the deck list. We can actually... Go check that out now. So here's our deck list. I wouldn't touch it. Like this deck list has just been running really well for me. Spore Frogs seem great today. I've liked all the other challenges. Variance happens in Magic, especially in a format like Pauper, where you don't have as consistent cards. So it is what it is. Sometimes like you just have to take the bad beats and roll with it. Thank you for watching. I do appreciate you. Keep storming and have a great day. Hey, Brian Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.